Dear students, I am Shiva, faculty of physics. I hope you are doing well in your studies with these bricks. Today, in this episode, we are going to learn one important topic that is potential energy for the dipole. So, in the last session for 8th standard students, we discussed about the torque acting on the dipole. Now, in this session, we are going to explore the potential energy of the dipole. Before going to explore the concept of potential energy of the dipole, let us try to understand how can we calculate the work done by the torque when the torque is constant for general motion. So, see here. So, work done by the torque is tau bar dot delta theta bar. Okay. So, if you expand this dot product, we will write as tau into delta theta cos pi. Okay. So, suppose here tau is the vector, angular cohesion also vector. This angular displacement we can define as change in the angular position. But according to the rotational motion, whenever this delta theta value less than or equal to 5 degrees, at that time only this delta theta bar we can treat as a vector. At that time, we can define the work done by the torque as per this relation. So, here this torque is what type of term? This is constant. This relation we are defining for general motion. So, suppose spinning of the torque, at that time, torque direction is we have in some particular way, delta theta bar direction also we can define in one particular way. At that time, the angle between the two directions only we are defining as pi. Suppose if you are talking about an object that is revolving about some particular axis, at that time the work done by the torque we can define as tau into delta theta since in this situation direction of the tau, direction of the delta theta bar both are same. That's why this angle pi we can write as 0 degrees. So, in this case work done by the torque tau is equal to tau into delta theta. So, this expression we can use for what type of motion that is motion about the fixed axis, rotational motion about the fixed axis. So, this is for general motion, this is for rotational motion about the fixed axis. Okay. So, now we are talking about one, uh, one type of work due to the torque. At that time, the torque is not constant, the torque also varies according to the function of angular position. So, torque is the function of angular position. So, at that time, say how we can think it is, say suppose tau is equal to theta square plus 2 theta plus theta. Otherwise, sin of theta square minus 2 theta, whatever may be. Basically, the torque we can express as the sinusoidal function or algebraic function or any function, whatever may be. At that time, if you want to calculate the work done by that particular torque, now we can use this expression work done by the torque is equal to integral theta i2 theta f tau b into d theta. Okay? Here, tau is the function of theta d theta indicates angular position, theta i to theta f indicates initial angular position to final angular position. Okay. Now, after defining the work done by the torque, okay, this is work done by the what type of torque? Work done by the variable torque. Suppose if you know the work done by the variable torque is arises due to the conservative force, at that time the potential energy, that is the change in the potential energy. Again, we can define as negative of the work done by the torque, especially 
the torque is arranged is due to what type of force here? The torque is arranged to the conservative force. Okay. So next, come to the case of this dipole. Okay. Suppose here we are taking now. dipole okay so this is plus q this is minus q initially the angle now we are seeing here 90 degrees so initially are you seeing any field here so initially there is no field since there is no field acting on the dipole at that time what is the value of u here zero why the u is zero since f is equal to 0, there is no electrostatic force. Suppose if you are applying some electric field there, suppose here I am applying the electric field in this manner, this is E bar. At that time, what will happen? This charge experiences force in this direction, that is EQ, this is positive charge, positive charge experiences force. In the direction of the electric field. Similarly, negative charge experiences force in the direction opposite to the field. Still their net force zero, this dipole in what type of equilibrium? Translational equilibrium. But due to these forces, this dipole experiences some torque. Regarding to this torque, we discussed in detail in our previous video. One time go back to that video and do some revision. Now, thereafter revisit this video again. So, after the application of this electric field, then what will happen? Now, I am showing the dipole orientation in this manner. So, this is dipole plus Q. This is EQ. This is EQ. Some angle here theta. So here this is P bar. Okay. So in the previous video we found the expression for this type of rotation motion tau is equal to minus P sin theta. Tau is equal to minus P sin theta. So where tau denotes torque experienced by the dipole, P is the magnitude of dipole moment, E bar is the direction of the electric direction of the electric field now you are seeing in this manner now. this direction theta is the angle between p bar and e bar okay now let us try to evaluate the work done by the torque okay acting on this dipole due to the presence of what force electrostatic force now the work done by this torque only is responsible for what type of potential energy this potential energy na? electrostatic potential energy okay that's why now we can use this expression in order to calculate the change in the potential energy when the dipole changes the orientation from where to where dipole is changes the orientation from 90 degrees to theta degrees now how can we calculate it we are using this formula now we can write here delta u is equal to negative of the work done by the torque okay so again delta u is equal to negative of so what is the angle change in here angle changes from 90 degrees to theta that's why 90 degrees to theta so work done by the torque so what is the torque here so actually formula tau d theta Okay, work done by the torque now, tau into d theta. Why? This torque is what type of torque? This torque is the variable torque. Na? So, whenever you are trying to calculate work done by the variable torque, we can use this formula. Okay. So, in our case also, tau is the function of theta. Here, tau is equal to minus p sin theta. Tau is the function of theta. That's why we are using this formula here. Okay. In our case, Theta is there how much value? Theta is there 90 degrees. Theta is how much value? Theta is there decrease into theta. Okay, now substitute the value of tau here. What we can write? 
minus integral 90 degrees to theta. What is the value of tau? Tau is minus PE sin theta d theta. Okay. So then after calculate this calculation further. Okay. So here again what you can write thereafter. Delta E is equal to so minus minus this is plus P constant D constant delta tau. Now what you can write P E integral 90 degrees to theta sin theta d theta sin theta d theta again delta e is equal to p e what is integral sin theta integral sin theta we know minus cos theta now substitute here minus cos theta 90 degrees to theta okay so thereafter delta e is equal to p e into minus cos theta minus of minus plus plus cos 90 degrees that's why here delta u is equal to p e of cos 90 0 so minus cos theta we are writing as again minus cos theta so minus cos theta so delta u now we can write as here minus P cos theta. So what do you mean by delta u? So delta u now u at any angle theta minus u at 90 degrees is equal to minus P e cos theta. So already we know when the dipole is oriented at an angle 90 degrees with horizontal u at 90 degrees 0 that's why u theta minus 0 we can write as simply u at any angle theta is equal to minus p e cos theta ok so this is the expression for the calculation of the potential energy of the dipole at any angle theta suppose you are taking the angle now here the theta i am taking as 0 degrees ok so whenever you are taking theta at 0 degrees then what we can write u theta is equal to minus p e cos 0 cos 0 there 1 now this is minimum value na? minimum value as well as this position we can say with what name stable equilibrium ok this position we can say with what name stable equilibrium suppose we are taking theta is equal to 90 degrees so u is equal to u at an angle theta is equal to 90 degrees clearly 0 suppose I am taking the theta value as 180 degrees so what is the u at theta so cos theta value is minus 1 cos 180 minus 1 so minus 1 into minus p e will become plus p e so this is what now maximum and the configuration or arrangement of the dipole we can say with what mean unstable equilibrium okay means when the dipole lies lies in the manner such that the dipole orientation is same as the electric field orientation at that time the type of equilibrium that we have stable when the dipole orientation is exactly anti parallel to the direction of the E bar, at that time the type of equilibrium that we have unstable. When the dipole orientation is perpendicular to the electric field direction, at that time the potential energy that we have zero. Okay. Now let us see some more cases here. Okay, so suppose assume. Okay, so suppose now think yourself. We are rotating the dipole from the angle theta i to theta. Okay, the dipole is rotated from theta i to theta. During that rotation, the dipole normally experiences 
two types of torques one is the torque due to the applied force another one the torque due to the electrostatic force the torque due to the electrostatic force always tries to maintain the dipole in the state of stable equilibrium but the torque due to the applied force always tries to make the dipole in unstable equilibrium suppose whenever the angle between the orientation of the dipole and electric field is changes from theta i to theta f how can we calculate the work done by the electrostatic force that is the torque due to the electrostatic force suppose dipole orientation there changes to theta i to theta f at that time the work done by the torque due to the electrostatic force we can say minus delta u okay so again minus of what is delta u uf minus uy again indicates ui minus uf so what is uy so here again work done by the torque so this is due to the electrostatic force is equal to uy now we can write as minus pe cos theta i minus of minus pe cos theta i okay so now again what can write here pe into cos theta i minus cos theta i okay so this is the expression that we can use in order to calculate the work done by what force electrostatic force but that electrostatic force not directly acting in the form of force it was creating some torque due to the start we have this work so simply to say work done by the torque due to the electrostatic force is p into cos theta i minus cos theta i okay so this is one more expression okay so next including the electrostatic force we have applied force also so whenever we are changing the orientation of the dipole from theta i to theta f at that time including the electrostatic force the applied force also creating some torque that is also in action so remember whenever you are rotating the dipole from the angular position theta i to the angular position theta f at the angular position theta i the dipole in the state of rest at the angular position theta f the dipole in the state of rest why so clearly we know this is the topic we are discussing in the part of electrostatics according to the electrostatics if you want to describe the behavior of the charges then definitely you need to assume the charges in the state of rest otherwise that are moving slowly why whenever the charge in the motion at that time it doesn't only responsible for the electric field it is also responsible for the magnetic field but similarly again you are thinking the charge is accelerating like that it is not only now responsible for the electric field and magnetic field but also responsible for the radiation of the energy that's why it is necessary to assume at the angle theta i as well as at the angle theta f the dipole we are thinking in the state of rest that's why what is the initial kinetic energy so theta i what is the initial kinetic energy for the dipole zero so at theta f what is the final kinetic energy of the dipole zero okay now we can use work done kinetic energy theorem in order to calculate the work done by the apply torque so here uh, what is the work done kinetic energy theorem says net work done is equal to change in the kinetic energy okay so the net work done here due to the electrostatic force as well as due to the applied force that's why we can write here work done by the electrostatic force plus work done by the applied force is equal to zero okay so in this situation again we can write work done by the applied force is equal to negative of the work done by the electrostatic force nothing but 
वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड फोर्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस व्हाट इज द वर्क डन बाय द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स हियर कैलकुलेटेड ना माइनस पीई इनटू cos थीटा एफ माइनस cos थीटा एफ ओके नाउ सेम दिस माइनस साइन इनसाइड नाउ व्हाट वी कैन राइट हियर वर्क डन बाय द अप्लाइड टॉर्क इज इक्वल टू पीई इनटू cos थीटा आई माइनस कॉस थीटा आई ओके सो दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द वर्क डन बाय वाट फोर्स वर्क डन बाय द टॉर्क ड्यू टू द अप्लाइड फोर्स व्हेन द डाइपोल ओरिएंटेशन देयर चेंजेस फ्रॉम थीटा आई टू थीटा आई ओके नाउ इन दिस सिचुएशन हियर वी कैन यूज वन लिटिल प्रॉब्लम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर आई एज्यूम this is the direction of electric field okay so this is minus charge this is plus charge okay so this is the angle we are seeing here theta as well as this is minus this is plus again this is minus this is plus this is negative this is positive so here also as in the angle theta so here what i am showing to you these are four dipoles so say 1 2 3 4 totally we have four dipoles these four dipoles have the charges that are equal in magnitude opposite in sign all of these dipoles here i am showing the dipoles are of what length same length okay now question here rank these dipoles so rank these dipoles according to the magnitude of the torque as well as according to the value of potential energy so dear students please pause the screen in 2 minutes and think yourself try to answer it okay now listen the answer so here i am asking to you what is the magnitude due to the torque exerted by applied force na so what is the formula for the torque that we studied so tau is equal to p sin theta this p sin theta includes minus sign when the torque is responsible for clockwise motion otherwise plus sign when the torque is responsible for anti clockwise motion suppose i am taking here magnitude this value always p sin theta so for first dipole what is the value for tau so for first dipole what is the value of tau tau is equal to okay p sin theta so here clearly angle between p bar and d bar theta only na that's why tau is equal to p sin theta for second one modulus of the torque is equal to p into sin of 180 minus theta so what is this angle this is 180 degrees minus theta so it will become sin of 180 degrees minus theta that's why it will become again p sin theta okay so similarly for third one so for third one what is the value for the torque so this is p sin of 180 degrees minus theta still what is that value p sin theta so similarly for fourth dipole also here i am saying that angle tau na so for fourth one also you will get the same answer nothing but here what we observe for first dipole second dipole third dipole fourth dipole the value of the torque that we are seeing same that's why what is the rank for this tau so for tau no rank okay what is equal to what is equal to 2 is equal to 3 is equal to 4 so now what is the rank for this uh, u so again we can calculate the value of u for first dipole so for first dipole what is the value for you this is angle theta again minus p cos theta 
So what is this value for second dipole? U is equal to minus P cos of 180 degrees minus theta. So cos of 180 minus theta. This is minus cos theta. That's why here what we can write plus P cos theta. Plus P cos theta. So again you are taking for third dipole. For third dipole also what is the angle between the direction of the P bar and direction of the E bar. This is also equal to 180 degrees minus theta. That's why here again we will get the same one. U is equal to P cos theta. Okay, suppose I am concentrating on fourth dipole. So what is the fourth dipole? So fourth dipole we were saying it was making same angle with the direction of the electric field that is that is theta. That's why here what we can write again minus P cos theta. Okay, now what is the ranking here we will give? 2 and 3. 2 and 3 positive na? plus P cos theta plus pi P cos theta this is maximum. Later you are seeing 1 and, 1 and 4. 1 and 4 you are seeing what now? Negative now. That's why its value is minimum. So now what is the ranking for you here? So ranking for you we can say how much? So 2 is equal to 3. Okay? This is greater than 1 is equal to 4. Okay? So in this manner we can utilize the expressions for potential energy as well as torque in order to solve this problem for ranking. Okay students, in this session what we discussed in this episode, we discussed about how can we calculate the work done by the torque for general motion, nothing but for spinning type of motion where the torque is assumed as constant. Again, when the torque is variable, how can we calculate the work done by the variable torque? Later, once you know the work done by the applied torque, how can we calculate the change in the electrostatic potential energy? Later, with the help of these ideas, we try to calculate the change in the potential energy of the dipole when the dipole orientation changes from 90 degrees to theta. So at that time, we found the value for the change in the potential energy is minus P cos theta. But regarding to the reference contribution, what we assumed, we got the reference, uh, we got the absolute value of the potential energy at an angle theta is minus P cos theta. Later, we try to recognize what is the, at for what angle it is stable, for what angle it is unstable, for what angle its value is 0. Again, we calculated when the dipole is rotated from the angle theta e to theta f, what is the work done by the torque due to the electrostatic force. Again, what is the work done by the torque due to the applied force, then the initial kinetic energy as well as the final kinetic energy of the dipole is equal to 0. Again, these three ideas here we applied for one problem in order to decide the ranking for the torque as well as potential energy. Okay, students, I hope you understood this session well. In the next session, we will meet with one more new concept. Thank you for watching.